Hi, ladies. Welcome to my YouTube live. I'm really excited to work with this um, set with you. I did create a card this past week, and I had lots of questions, lots of interest. So I thought it would be really good if I um, do one today for you or do a set for you today so you can see how it how it's done. It is so pretty. I'm using the, let me see, it is the Layers of Beauty stamp set, which looks like this, and also the matching dies, the coordinating dies. I did use a few other things um, that I'll point out to you in a little while, but with this set, you also have um, in the bundle, there's some stencils, and I've never really used stencils before. Um, maybe I tried them once or twice, but this time I really fell in love with them, and I hope you will too. So I um, and I'm going to create this card first and show you how I did it, and then we'll go on with the rest of them. But I really, really think you're going to like it. So let me grab what I'm using here. Um, I'm using the Fluid 100 watercolor paper. And by the way, if you are new to my channel, please uh, let me know that you're new um, so we can give you a warm welcome. And if you're a returning um, follower, please um, say hello. Tell us where you're from. Okay, um, let me see. All right, so this is watercolor paper, and it's made for doing things like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some, some tape and tape this down as soon as I find it. And because you don't want this to move. All right, so what I'm going to do is I have... I want to make sure I line this exact, I'm going to do it this way because I did it that way before. I'm going to line this up exactly how I had it um, before. All right, so I'm just going to take some tape here and put this on here so it doesn't move. And let me grab some more tape because as you can see, it will move. Okay. All right, so now what I'm going to do is lightly spray. I have just this spray bottle. You can use um, aqua painters, water painters, or you can use a spray bottle. And what I'm going to do is just um, spray this a little bit. I should have sprayed it before I taped it down, but oh well. Um, I was running late, so my sister is here helping me get some of the stuff together. Okay, so I just dabbed off all the excess water. So now what we're going to do, I'm using these colors. I'm using Bubble Bath, Melon Mambo, Lemon Lime Twist, and Granny Apple Green in that order, okay? So I'm going to take, first of all, you can see that these have notches. The, the stencils have a notch right here in the upper left-hand corner, and they're all numbered. So it has a number right here. So I'm going to start with number one. Okay, and I'm just going to line this up. I'm going to put it so it's completely flush with the bottom and the side panel. All right, I'm going to take the bubble bath and I'm using our, um, I like the small ones better. These are small. They're the blending brushes and you can um, wash these out as well and reuse them with other colors. So I'm just tapping on some of the um, bubble bath color. Now what you want to do is hold this in two spots so that it doesn't move. And I'm just going to add the color on here. You won't believe how pretty this comes out. It'll make you feel like an artist. Now I did do this on some regular white cardstock and it came out nice as well. But I like the look of this. Okay, so I'm lifting that up, and I just rinse things, these out in the sink. Okay, so I'm going to go to number two. I'm going to lay this down in the same manner, but this time I'm going to use Melon Mambo. Okay. It's been a crazy, crazy time here this week. All right, so we're going to do Melon Mambo, and this is number two. 
stencil number two and it it's labeled up in the corner now when i was drying this off i kind of lifted that you got to be careful when you're drying them off okay so so far so good we're going to move to stencil number three and stencil number three i'm still using with melon mambo so i'm just going to put this down right here okay and add some more color now it'll look like a darker color because it's um, a second layer on here why i'm doing this ladies have you heard the news of um, close to my heart coming over to stampin up I'm excited about it because we're going to have lots more to offer in the way of scrapbooking. So that's exciting. And um, you can also, um, if you are a stamp or close to heart maker and you would like to um, join my team, I'd love to have you. You can join any team you want or go directly with your team you're currently with. Okay, so this is number four and I'm switching to... A lemon lime twist so i'm going to switch the the brush too um the watercolor paper is in stampin up it's called fluid 100 watercolor paper it's in our catalog okay so now i'm doing a lemon lime twist and this is a lighter shade of green Just make sure that you got, have the notch in the same area. Otherwise, it won't look good when you're done. <laughs> okay, so that's one layer of green already. And then finally, we're going to do Granny Apple Green. Um, the product number on this is, let me see, 149612. Okay, so the last one is stencil number five. And again, it's right up here. So we'll lay this down. And like I said, this time we're going to use grainy apple green. Okay. And as you can see, this is a, a darker shade. It's going on darker. Okay, doesn't that look pretty so far? All right, and then the last step, this is our um, outline stamp. So you could actually stamp this and color it in yourself, but I guarantee you, once you do this, you'll love it. I wanna make sure this is all dry because I just um, washed it off. I can feel some water on there. Okay, so now we're gonna take um, memento and ink this up and make sure you get it inked really well because you're only going to get one shot at this all right i'm going to lift this off of here all right see what it looks like so far but i do need this pad all right, and I'm glad that our, um, our blocks have a little ridge around the side because you're going to need that to hold it. And what you're going to do is just, I had to stand up and get this right in place. Carefully put down. And you won't believe it how pretty it is when it's done. There you go. All right. It came out perfectly. Is that gorgeous? I just love this. Okay. So now 
um, Nancy Patty went upstairs. I'll have to tell her. Anyway, so I'm going to put this aside because I'm going to use this for my next card. But I do want to show you the dies now with this. All right, so you you cut this out just like this, okay? And then what's really cool is we also have a die that cuts out this flower right here that I'm going to use on another project in this set. Okay, so for now, we're just going to put this aside and I'm going to put this aside for my next card because now we're going to move on and put this together. All right, so this is 11 by four and a quarter and it scored at five and a half. So we're going to go ahead and, and score this. All right, and then I have two pieces here, one of basic white and the other one lemon lime twist. And I have a piece of Melon Mambo designer series paper. So we're going to put this on here first. Okay. So Patty, Nancy Lucas said hello. How are you, Nancy? <laughs> she was over here um, working on craft show stuff, and I was running late, so she die cut some stuff for me, which is perfect. <laughs> okay, so I have that on, and I always make sure that um, it's really nice and flush. And I just want to trim a very small, small hair off of here. So small, probably won't even catch it. There. You won't believe how little that is. You can't even see it. Okay, that side looks good. Okay, so we're going to put this together here. And ladies, I think I'm going to do the inside of the cards last, only because there's another little trick I want to show you. And I need to do another project first. Okay. Not till the fall, um, Nancy. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Are you rooming with your sister? And ladies, my um, retreat, my fall retreat is completely sold out. So if you had interest in coming, you can let me know and I can put you on a waiting list. And we'll also have kits to go. Hey, Susan. Okay, so now we're, this is going to go here on dimensionals. So let me get some dimensionals out. This looks harder than it is. It's not hard at all. The hardest thing is keeping it in place. And you can always tape it down. <laughs> You're funny, Nancy. <laughs> okay, Patty, bye. Thank you for your help. Okay. All right, so it's going like this. All right, now I did die cut this piece out here, okay? So I'm going to put it on like this, and I like it coming off the sides, okay? So we're going to put this up on dimensionals as well. So ladies, if you want these make and takes, please place your order um, by Sunday 
using this host code and you'll get these make and takes in the mail for me for free. Okay. Hi, Ramey, are you new to my channel? I don't believe I've ever seen you on here. Hi, Tina. Okay, so this is going to go on about right here. Look how rich that looks. And it looks like I watercolored it myself, doesn't it? Okay, so now, oh my gosh, Stampin' Up! is coming out with some of the cutest little dies. And let me see. Don't tell me I didn't. Okay. So let me grab them. This is another die set. And Patty was helping me, so I don't know where they where they're at. Unbounded love, it's called. But I don't know what happened to it. But these are some of the dies in it, okay? I might find it after I clean off my desk. I don't know where it's at. Okay, so let me get some scrap white paper and what I'm doing is I'm stamping happy birthday and that comes from a different stamp set it's from the translucent florals okay I'm using this happy birthday all right and I'm going to stamp that in memento Okay, I use the die, and when the die cuts it out, it cuts it out like this. So you have, I had to cut it out twice. So I have an extra scallop of this. But I'm going to put this together first on here. But I got to be careful that I don't get um, glue all over. I really do have an excuse for seeming like it's I'm all out of sorts today. But um, anyway, <laughs> I was in the ER. My blood pressure was way, way high. 178 over 90, I think it was. Okay, so I cut it out again. And here is the happy birthday. And we're going to put this together. All right, so it's going to go on right here. All right, then what I have is a few little pieces from the, these are die pieces from the die set. And I, don't, I think I'm going to save those for the last project. I don't really think it needs it on this one. Okay, and then what we have is some pearls. You can use any gemstones that you have. And I'm just using a black Sharpie marker. You can um, color these any color you want with our Stampin' Blend markers or... I like the black Sharpie for um, doing this because then it doesn't damage my marker. Unless I wanted like a max a mix of melon mambo or um, lemon lime twist and I wanted it to match exactly, then I would use um, our markers. But what you want to do is do it on here and not on your project because then it won't, it'll come out you can get black marks on your project. So I'm just going to go here. And I like different sizes mixed. Okay. And I'll do one over here. Do one here. And oops. Here. Okay. So now we're going to take the... 
this um, ribbon and this is parakeet party but I think it looks good with this and this is retiring so if you want some of this ribbon you want to get it right away so I'm going to do a double bow Okay, make them smaller. So that's why I'm trying to get my fingers back in there. Hi, Sharon. Um, this set is new in the new catalog, but this ribbon is um, retiring. All right, everything else is good. And then we're going to just put this on here. I am going to finish the inside of the cards now, and I'll just show you what I did. Okay, so look how pretty this is. What do you think? Do you like it? Awesome. All right, so now for the inside, I have two pieces of basic white, okay? Okay. But remember, um, I'm going to do something a little bit different. So I'm pulling this in. Now, this is just another one that I um, did on just basic white paper. So it looks like this, okay? And I die cut it. I die cut it around. But the really cool thing is I'm going to be careful with this, um, this tape so it doesn't damage it. All right, so I die cut, you can die cut the flower right out of the center with this die, okay? So I am saving this piece for the last project. And then I have this left over, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create something for the inside. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to cut this off right here. So I'm going to carefully just cut this off, kind of going with the, and put that aside. I'm going to take this piece, so I'm getting a lot out of this. I'm going to glue this up here, all right? Now I could glue it in the corner. I could glue it however I wanted, but I want to make sure that it's flush with the side. I know, Nicole, isn't it crazy? And more people are coming this time than last time. So we have 86. Okay, so this I'm going to put right up here. And make, I'm going to center it. Okay, now you can see I have some excess on here. So I'm just going to cut this off. And then what I'm going to do is take my trimmer and get a, give it a nice flush. Okay. So that way it's nice and sharp. Okay. All right. So we're going to put this on here. I did it on basic white. And, um, and I just cut it out. And I'm using it on the two insides of the cards. And I'm also using it on the final project. So it's going a long way. Ah, oh, you're so sweet, Nicole. I'm excited. One of my friends that follows me from close to my heart, she is joining my team. And bringing a few of her friends with her. So I'm excited about that. So we'll he even have a bigger team. Okay, so now we're going to glue this in on the inside. So ladies, if you're thinking of joining Stampin' Up!, whether you're um, with another company or you're um, a crafter, I'd love to have you on our team. We have an awesome team. All right, so see, isn't that so pretty? It just makes the inside 
of the card. Okay, so here you go. Here is your first project. All right, so now we're going to move on to this one right here. So let me pull this stuff in. I hope I have everything here of that. And I can use this. And don't tell me. It's not cut out, so I'm going to have to cut it. Okay, so anyway, here is the second project. So let me show you. This is five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. So we're just going to fold this over. Okay, so now remember that I had, I already did that. Where it went. What did I do with it? Oh my goodness. Oh well, I gotta stamp it again. Remember I put it aside? I don't know what happened to it. So we're gonna do it again. Okay, just give me one second. That is crazy. I don't know what happened to it. Okay, so we're just going to do it again. We're going to start with uh, mask number one. And we're going to tape this down again. And this time I cut this down to size. Okay. And I know it's going to show up after I do this. Okay, so again, we're just going to take max number one, and I want to make sure that I get this in the same area that I did before. So this is going to be like right here. Nope. Right here. So I got to make sure that I have it lined up at two and three quarters in this line right here. Okay. No, it's not here. It's not under the bone folder. This is crazy. I just had it. <laughs> okay. You guys, I'm really not that crazy. All right. So I'm going to line this up here. It'll only take a minute. So using number one and bubble bath. Okay, there's number one. Put this aside and go to number two. And this is going to go to one right here. And here. And now I'm using Melon Mambo. Number three is Melon Mambo as well. You know it's going to show up as soon as I'm done here. And I did this ahead of time so you wouldn't have to watch it a second time. But I guess it's okay. All right, we're going to switch to the green. Hi, Melody. I'm glad you're here. All right, so we're going to use the lemon lime twist, and we're going to use number four, which is this one. So 
So it's going to go right there. The key is making sure you have it lined up correctly. No, it's not there. I swear a ghost came in and took it. And finally, we're going to do number five with Granny Apple Green. Oh, thank you. Are you. How did you find me, Melody? Oh, shoot. Okay, there you go. Nice. I'm glad you're here. All right, so now we're going to take this and we're going to ink this up. And remember, you only get one chance with this. I think I'm going to use this one. I must have, and this is no exaggeration, probably 50 of these ink pads. The black alone. All right. And remember, I'm going to... Move this, put this on here, and now I got to line it up, make sure I have it lined up properly, which, nope, it's this way. There. <laughs> I know, it scares me too. I had a chance, I had it made already, and now it's gone. All right, so let's see how it turned out. Awesome, beautiful. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and I am batting a thousand today. All right, I need to cut one of these at three and five eighths and four and seven eighths. I know these by heart, so it's not bad when I mess up. Okay, so this is going to go on right here. All right, so we're going to glue these together. People say, oh, Julie, you're a pro at doing your videos. No, I'm not. You can see how <laughs> I mess up. <laughs> oh, well. One thing, I just don't get all bent out of shape anymore like I used to when I would mess up. Because everybody does. And sometimes I think that they like it when you mess up. Okay, so this is going to go on here with dimensionals, but before I do that, I'm going to put this on here, okay? Oh, hi, Barbara. Thank you for joining me. I've been doing um, cards for about 14 years. How did you find me? Okay, so that's that. Oh, and I'm going to wrap some ribbon around here, too. I've been doing lives for about five years now. Oh, nice. How long have you been doing cards or making cards?
Um, I would not do that. I would not stamp it first. Only because you don't want your um, black to smear. I personally wouldn't do it like that. Okay, so we're going to put this on dimensionals. Well, good, Barbara. Where are you located? Okay, so let me see. We're going to put this on here. Just like that. Okay, so. Let me see. All right, as you can see, this is die cut just like that. All right, so we're going to put, we're going to stamp with heartfelt sympathy in there. Okay. Oh, thank you. Oh, really? That's where my retreat is in Finley. What town actually? Oh, let me grab my little thing here. And hopefully I'll get this stamped really well. Perfect. Okay. So now um, I do need to die cut this really quickly. Just give me a second in Melon Mambo. Oh, guess what? I found my thing. It was on the floor behind me and I rolled over it. Look at darn it. Okay. So I have this piece and I also have this. So I'm going to glue that on here. Oh, yeah, I've heard of that. Make sure it's. I do my retreat at the um, Finley Hilton Garden Inn. And they are really great there for us. Okay, so I'm putting that down first. And then I'm going to take this and just place it in there, okay? So, Barbara, are you working with a demonstrator now that you're getting your products from? You know what I did? I stamped it on the wrong side. I didn't know there was a right and wrong side. Hold on one second. Yep, there's a right and a wrong side. So I got to run this through again. So this time what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stamp it. No wonder it wasn't coming, fitting in there correctly. All right, so I'm going to stamp it first and then die cut it. What a hot mess today, huh? I wondered why it wasn't fitting correctly. So I'm going to just die cut this just like that. And I'll be right back.
Okay. Ah, we do have a fabulous time. What the heck is going on? This is not fitting in here. I'm just taking this off. We're going to pinch hit here. I'm just going to stamp it on here and be done with it. I don't know what's happening and I don't have time to figure it out right now. So I'm just going to stamp it on here. That looks good. And let me see if I, what I'll do is I'll take one of these. Oh, I need this for the last one if I don't, oh, I have another. I'm just going to put this around here, make it look pretty. That's what I'm going to do. I don't know what's going on with it, why it won't fit. Kind of center it. I'm going to figure it out afterwards, but I can't do it right now. Okay, so this is going to go on right here on dimensionals. Is that what I need to do? Let me see. Andy, if you're, oh my gosh. And you're, you're so brilliant. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> oh, well, it's fixed. <laughs> Andy was here all day for me today. And I was not feeling good. So she was <laughs> doing my thing. And I took a two-hour nap. Okay, so we're going to go just like this. All right, and then where are the little diamonds? I'm going to put some of those on here. Well, I guess they're not diamonds. Okay, now for the inside, what we're going to do is I'm going to take, oh, I want to put these on here too. I have this die cut. I'm just going to lift that up, push it down. Same with this one. All right, and then on the inside, what we're going to do is <laughs> oh my gosh, we're just going to glue this down and put it in there because I am losing track of stuff here. If I come across it, then I do. But I will show you what I did for the real card because I cut that out too, but I don't know what happened to it. Okay, I took one of these and I put that on here just for interest. All right, and then that rose that I cut out earlier, it looks like this. I put that in there, okay? So that is your second project. What a mess I am today, huh? 
All right, so here's the third one. All right, so let me see if I can get this through without any errors. Okay, so what we have here, this will fit one of those little Reese cup eggs or Reese cups. So anyway, what we're going to do here, this is five and a half by seven and a half. And let me measure this out for you. On the seven and a half side, it's scored at half inch, one and a quarter, three and a quarter, four and a quarter, six and a quarter, and seven. And then on the other side, it's scored at one and four and a half. So we're going to um, fold on the score lines. And actually, that one will go forward. And this one will go forward. Okay. And what I'm going to do on the ends, I'm going to punch them and round them, okay? So you want to make sure it's nice and even in there so you get a nice round corner. Stampin' Up! doesn't carry this punch anymore, but I know that there's a lot of them out there. I'm excited to get some of the um, close to my heart products in our line. Okay, so see how that is. Now we're going to do some trimming. So we're going to take out this first rectangle and the second one. All right. Just like that. Same thing here. Flip it around into this on this end. Okay, so those that's how it looks on the corners. Now we're going to tab these. Cut straight up, and then we're going to make it a tab. See what I mean? We're going to do the same thing on this side. All right, just like that. Okay. You know what? I cut off the things, the tabs. <laughs> I just noticed that. <laughs> That's how things are going for me today. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> I thought I was getting ahead of the game and, and punching them before I put it together. Ladies, you know, <laughs> it's been one of those days. Okay, so now it's set, all right? So now what we're going to do is fold these in, add a little bit of glue and a little bit of glue here. And we'll just pull this up and hold it. Oh my gosh, is it crazy for me? Okay, so now we're going to put the glue here and here. And we'll bring these forward. All right, now it does make a box. All right, so I'm going to take just a couple of um, glue dots. Let me see where they are. 
And I'm going to put one here just to hold this uh, shut for me. And then one here. Okay, so I'm going to line this up so it's nice and straight. And this tab right here, or where the seam is, that's the back. So um, now we're going to take some ribbon, wrap it around here. It's really hard to work with when nothing is in the box weighing it down. And the lid here is so um, only a half inch. There's not much to work with. I'm surprised it's not sliding off with the day I'm having. Okay. Okay, so far so good. <laughs> All right, so remember this piece here? All right, I'm gonna trim this off. And what I'm gonna do is slip this, it's gonna go on just like this. So first of all, um, we're gonna put this together here. Oh my goodness, thanks for hanging out with a crazy person today. I feel bad for those of you that are watching for the first time. Somebody please let them know that this is not my usual day. Okay, so we're going to put dimensionals on the back of that. Okay, so I'm going to stick this on right here. And then I'm going to put some glue behind here and just kind of slide this under. All right. And then remember, I saved some of these. So I'm going to save these for here. But before I do that, I want to see this and see what side fits in here. Now look at that. See how nice and easy that went in? Now I can't get it back out again. Okay. So I'm going to stamp on here. And it's just going to be happy birthday. Deborah, you missed all my mistakes. All right, so it's going to go right here. Put some glue on here, and hopefully it'll still fit. Ah, look at that, how nice it fits. <laughs> okay, so we're going to add some of these little leaves on here. Okay, so your projects are done for today. Oh, I do want to add a couple of, let me see. It's right here. There. Okay. Was this a crazy ride today or what? Ladies, thank you for joining me and, and sticking with me today because it was wild. Anyway, I hope you like these projects and I hope you come back next week and see me. <laughs> um, I think they turned out really pretty 
And um, anyway, I love them. I hope you do too. As always, thanks for always joining me. Thanks to the new people for coming on. I appreciate you and I appreciate you allowing me to spend time with you to earn your business. Thanks and have a great night. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.